Hello, my name is David. I'm the literacy educator at the Eric Carle Museum of Picture Book Art. Thank you so much for joining Storytime with the Carl, our weekly read aloud series. Today, we'll be sharing the 2021 Caldecott and Coretta Scott King honor book, Me and Mama by Cosby Cabrera. Big thanks to Cosby and Deneen Milner Books and Simon and & Schuster for giving us permission to share this really beautiful book about a lovely relationship between a mama and her daughter. And on the cover, we can see a mama and a daughter covering their eyes and kind of hiding. Let's see what's on the back. Are you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Peekaboo! Now we can see their beautiful smiling faces. <gasps> Before we start our book, let's play a little game of peekaboo too. Are you ready? Let's cover our eyes and on three, we'll say peekaboo and show our faces. Are you ready? One, Two, three, peekaboo! There you are! Big, beautiful, smiling faces. Yes, you look ready to start our story. Me and Mama by Cosby A. Cabrera. And on our end papers, we see lots of different things. What do you see? So many beautiful objects. We see shoes and books and pajamas and spoons and hats and chairs. And if we look closely, we'll notice that for each thing, there's a Big one for mama and a small one for the daughter. Oh, and on our title page, there we see the child from the cover getting really cuddly on mama's lap. This is a really cozy, cozy book. So I encourage you, if you're not already cozy, go grab a pillow or a stuffed animal or a grown up to sit with and get really cozy as we read our book. Me and Mama by Cosby Cabrera. Good morning to you, sings Mama, bright as sun. Sometimes she sings it like the birthday song. I've tiptoed to where she is in the house. It smells like cinnamon. Papa and Luca are still sleeping, but I want to be everywhere Mama is. Where is Mama? Can you find her? There she is downstairs at her desk with her sewing machine. put my nose to the window. My breath makes a cloud inside. What does she see outside the window? Yeah, the clouds outside are wearing shadows. The wind is painting the outside windows with beads of water. It's raining, I say. The perfect day for boots and puddles, says Mama. Bathroom first, she says. Then water, I say. This is Mama's cup. 
sometimes I take a cool sip. Mm. But I have to be careful because her cup is breakable. This is my cup. Mama's goes clink, clink, clink with a spoon. Mine goes duh, duh. Let's try it. Are you ready to make those sounds? Let's try it. Clink, clink, clink. Duh, duh. Clink, 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 clink. Uh-oh. What happened to Mama's cup? It broke. Sometimes things break, Mama says. This is Mama's toothbrush. This is mine. I get less toothpaste. Round my teeth with little circles, Mama says. Round my teeth with little circles, I say. Let's get our toothbrush and brush our teeth. You ready? Round our teeth with little circles, round and round, brush, brush, brush. Oh, I s let's see those shiny white teeth. There they are. Nice brushing, everyone. It's shower and dress time. Mama holds up my towel. A shower is warm rain that gets you going. Mama and I both have silver dresses. I wear mine with silver shoes. They're my favorite. Today is not our silver dress day, Mama tells me. I put my silver dress back on the hanger and pick the plaid pants instead. Comb hair, says Mama. She points to my chair. I'm hungry, I say. Mama's thought of this ahead of time. She has warm oatmeal on the in the pot. Hmm. Which bowl do you think is Mama's? This one. This is Mama's bowl. What is Mama like on her oatmeal? She likes berries. Mm. And this is my bowl. I like bananas. Mmm, that looks yummy. Comb hair, Mama says. She points to my chair. I'm hungry, I say. Oh, I don't want the bumblebee bread. I don't like the bumblebee bread, I say. Mama closes her hand. She knows I mean just today. She gives me the blue beret. Can you find it? There it is. I point to Mama's chair. Mama smiles. I give Mama the purpley pink beret. It matches her dress. She calls it fuchsia. That's a beautiful color. Out we go, I say. Max is waiting. These are my rain boots and those are mama's. Which ones do you think are mama's? Mama's rain boots are bigger than mine and they're red. I watch for Max's tail before I close the door. Can you find Max the dog's tail? Oh. There it is. Max doesn't wear boots. Outside, a pecker 
text. The sidewalk is longer than it is wide. I love the grass that grows in the in-between. It's moss, Mama says. It's velvet, I say. A hole is where a branch was. Nests are left behind in winter. Some things don't let go. But for what? The storms are boxes filled with people. We sing out loud to sky. Sky is taller, taller than the trees. Mama says a song is highs and lows. Can we reach up really tall? Tall as a tree, stretch up. Ah, nice. Now can we stretch and reach up even taller? Tall as the sky. Oh, good reaching and stretching highs. Oh, now what are they doing? Jumping in the puddle with their boots. Let's jump in the puddle too. Are you ready? On three, let's jump and make a big splash. Are you ready? One, two, three, splash! <gasps> now where are they? Back inside, all nice and dry. The outside clouds are pink with a sleepy sun. The day and our good are done. Mama puts me and Luca to bed. Our day is done earlier than Mama and Papa's. It's just that way when you're growing. Mama reads to us. I read to Mama. I begin each story with sometimes. Mama laughs. She throws her head back and shines her teeth. I laugh too. You're my best girl, Mama whispers. Luca is already asleep. I slip through the blanket tunnel. She closes by my chin. There's the kiss. I love you, Mama, I yell. Can you blow a kiss? She turns off the light. What colors do we see in the dark? Lots of blues and greens and blacks. My mouth gets sleepy first. The walls are dark except by the window where the stars are hanging. I close my eyes and let the day spin me some pictures. There's Max and Luca and Papa and Mama's laugh and tree holes and tall songs and mossy velvet as green as grass and full boxes and a blue barrette and a beaded window and warm indoor rain. Oh, and oh, ah, there'll be me and Mama. Now we see Mama and her daughter all cuddly and cozy again.
I love how safe and warm and happy this book makes me feel. So much of that feeling, I think, comes from the beautiful poetry and expressive paintings that the creator of the book, Cosby Cabrera, uses to tell the story. If you want to learn more about how Cosby creates her artwork and her books, you can attend our We Dream a World panel discussion with her this Thursday. It should be a very special evening and you can register to attend with using the link included in the event description. And you can also purchase a copy of Me and Mama from the Carl Bookshop at the link included in the description. And with your purchase, you'll receive a very special signed book plate by Cosby Cabrera, and you'll be entered into a raffle um, to receive a bundle of picture books highlighted in our recent exhibition, Black Voices, Picture Books as Anti-Racist Resources. On behalf of everyone at the Carl, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your stories. We hope you'll join us for our next story time. In the meantime, be well. Bye.